Hi, my name is Louisa and I'm a health educator at Maine General, focusing on harm reduction. This series of presentation covers specific injection related injuries and today I'll be talking about emboli. But what really is an embolism? First, let's talk about blood vessels. Blood vessels are the tubes that carry blood around your body. Arteries are the specific tubes that take nutrient-rich blood from your heart to the rest of your body. And veins are the specific tubes that return nutrient-poor blood back to the heart. An embolism happens when a blood vessel becomes blocked, and then that blockage travels in the blood vessel. The source of the blockage could range from a blood clot, to air, to fat, even to dirt or other particles, which could come from an injection. When a blood vessel experiences a blockage caused by a blood clot, it's called a thrombosis. When a thrombosis or other type of blockage travels in that blood vessel, that's known as an embolism. If you want to know more about thrombosis, check out our video on vein collapse, located in Maine General's harm reduction playlist on YouTube. Emboli in arteries, or arterial emboli, can be really dangerous and sometimes fatal. If you experience an arterial embolism, you could feel severe pain, numbness or tingling around the area of the embolism, as well as pale, bluish, cool skin near the site of the embolism, and muscular weakness or paralysis. If an embolism travels to a major organ, like your heart or lungs, it could also be fatal. Pulmonary embolisms are when a blockage travels to your lungs. If you experience a pulmonary embolism, you might have a low-grade fever, fluid buildup in your lungs, a rapid pulse, or labored breathing, which might sometimes be accompanied by chest pain. Thankfully, you can reduce the risk of embolism by following a few simple guidelines, including filtering your shots and fully dissolving pills before injection. Since particle-filled shots can introduce dirt and other particles to your blood vessels, it's really important to filter before you inject. We offer cottons for filtering at Next Step Needle Exchange in Waterville and Augusta. If you can, try to dissolve pills you wish to inject in powdered vitamin C if you can't avoid injecting pills. Powdered vitamin C can many times be found at most drugstores. Although a pill might appear to be completely crushed, it might not dissolve all the way and vitamin C can help in that process. Otherwise, it could build up in your blood vessels after injection and lead to an embolism. At Next Step Needle Exchange, we offer a variety of supplies like cottons, needles, sterile waters, tourniquets, alcohol prep pads, BZK pads, and triple antibiotic ointment. These materials help create a safer, cleaner environment for drug use reducing the risk of infection and other complications. Thanks for joining me today, and I invite you to check out more of our content on Maine General's Harm Reduction YouTube playlist.